Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's Tristan, and today I'll be talking about my thoughts about the top 12 of Miss South Africa 2023. I'll talk about the top 12 and then move on to contestants that I really admired who never made the top 12. But before I get into it, I want to say please like the video, subscribe for more videos, and follow on Instagram so that that way you help me to reach more people and I don't miss out on any future update. First up guys, I have Anne Otsuyen, 25 year old, a primary school teacher and a four time graduate with degrees in psychology and medical sociology. Looking at her here, I think she's so beautiful. I love her face, I love her looks, I love her hair, I think she's so hot. So definitely, I want to wish Anne all the best in the competition. Next up guys, we have Anke Rodman, who is an intern pharmacist and I think this lady, I think she's so beautiful, seriously, I love her hair color, I love her face. I think it's so unique, seriously. I think if she makes it to a movie, she will do so well. But she's so gorgeous, and with this, I'm so excited to see more in the competition. I want to wish Anke all the best because I think she's so nice. Vyondi Governor, who is a qualified lawyer, currently working as a training associate while awaiting admission to become an attorney. I love her photos so much. She's so beautiful, and I spoke about Bryony before. She competed at Miss South Africa before, but never won the title. I'm so happy that Bryony is here. I'm sure all Indians are so happy that she's here. So I want to wish her all the best in the competition. I think she is so gorgeous. Next up, guys, I have Homa Mazaleni, 23 years old, who is a qualified sports scientist and student intern at the University of Western Cape. She's so unique. She looks so strong, so bold, and I think she's different. So I think she's different from what. We normally see at in south africa and i think someone has spoken about her before but i want to wish her all the best she's so gorgeous yeah i'm so excited to see her in the competition i'm so anxious for her i'm so happy that jola is here guys seriously i'm so so happy because when she was competing again i was so scared because i was happy yeah but her first video i never liked it so much it was not well done, but I'm so happy she's here seriously. I really want Jordan to go to Miss Universe. I want to see a fair lady at Miss Universe because I think recently I've had so much of ladies of colors for South Africa at Miss Universe. So this time I want to see a white woman at Miss Universe. But Jordan, I want to wish you all the best. I hope this time put in more effort, work, dedication, and definitely you can do it. I think she's gorgeous, seriously. I want to wish you all the best in the competition. Next up, guys, I have Kialemboga Kashe, 27 years old, an educator, student, and model. I'm so happy she's here, seriously. Last year I was rooting for her, and this year too, she has come back to fight again for the title. I spoke about her in my top 12 video. I'm so happy she made it. I hope that this time she just like, she gives more, she becomes strong, and I hope that she can definitely go somewhere because. I think for Kia, if Kia goes to Miss Universe, she'll be so strong, seriously. From this photo, I'm seeing a strong woman, but deep inside, Kia is so beautiful, soft. When I saw her last year on that stage, like I was, I just loved her, seriously. So I hope that this year, she can do so well and go far. I want to wish Kia all the best in the competition. Le Bougang Raputsu, and I'm so happy that she's here. I spoke about her before in my top 12 video. I saw her as someone who has potential, and right now she's here. I think she's so gorgeous, and... I just think she has a lot to offer seriously. I think she still has the potential. And I want to wish her all the best. She's unique. She's stunning. Yeah. Next up, guys, I have Levin Jules, and she's a property practitioner. I've not spoken about her before, but recently when she made the top 12, I got a lot from social media that she was a bully back when she was in high school and she's not supposed to be here. Well, I'm going to first issue a statement. I don't know, but I feel sad for her seriously. Honestly, like the past always comes back to haunt you. I mean, my own past also come. But damn, I don't know what's going to happen seriously. I think so far she's not going to win already just because of that. But it's always cancel culture and a chance for redemption and if she apologizes publicly because people change seriously. Everyone deserves a second chance and maybe even a third chance. But let's wait and see how it turns out. Lungo Katete, she loves design and has a master's degree in architecture. Let me see her face. I love her so much. She's so beautiful. I love her makeup. I love her dreadlocks. It reminds me of Sabrina from Sisters. But damn. This lady is so fine, seriously. I hope this can perform well on stage, honestly. But she's so gorgeous. I want to wish her all the best in the competition. I think she's stunning. Yeah. Next up, guys, I have Melissa Nayalumi. Melissa competed in 2020, and right now she's back. And I think this Melissa, this Melissa is more mature, more focused. She knows what she's aiming for, and I like that so much. And I want to wish her all the best in the competition. I think she's so strong, seriously. I lack words, but definitely Melissa. If Melissa wins Miss South Africa, I'll be so, so happy. Because I think definitely she's Miss South Africa material and she has a lot of support already. So I want to wish her all the best in the competition. I think she's strong, she's beautiful. She's back to win and she's definitely going to win. I want to wish her all the best. Sandy Mbala, who is a micro-influencer, philanthropist, and it's a triple major BA in art graduate. I love her hairstyle. 
I love her face. I love what she has in front here. That's the gel. I don't know, but I love her hair. Yeah. I think she's beautiful. She's stunning. But I need more. I want to see more of her in the competition. So good luck to her. Next up, guys, we have Natasha Joubert. Obviously, it's no surprise. She has to make it. She's here. I'm so happy. And I think that she'll not go to Miss Universe. She cannot go to Miss Universe. So her only options are Miss Supernational or just become Miss South Africa in general. And she was joining here aiming for Miss World. But Miss World is not under Miss South Africa anymore. So I want to see how far she's going to go. And I feel that if this Natasha goes to Miss Universe, like she's going to place, obviously. Like 2020, I don't know what happened in 2020. She was my winner for that year. But Natasha, good luck. Good luck to you, Natasha. Yeah. That's all. Oh my god, I'm so shocked. That's all. Jeez. Oh no, no, no. Where's Annalisa? Damn, this is so sad. Where's Annalisa? Where's Nebo? I spoke about Hesty. Now she has put in more work into her journey, but unfortunately she's not here. And I think it's not surprising because um her profile was just was not that much going on. So I think it may have contributed to her not placing, but it's so sad, seriously. And she's not here, seriously. I loved Angie's video so much. Angie was someone who has potential to me that if you take those potentials and you work on it, to improve on that, she will do so well at the supernational or any pigeons because I loved her videos so much. She had a cause and damn, it's so sad, seriously. Maybe it's because she looks so young. I don't understand, but it's so sad. It's so sad for Angie, seriously, but Aunt wish her all the best in the future. Gable with the golden hair. I loved her so much. She was a student pilot and a photographer. It's so sad that she's not here, seriously. Damn. I like her a lot. Tando Tabete. How is Tando Tabete not here? Tando was like an influencer already. She has 34 k on Instagram and she's beautiful. I loved her videos so much. She was so natural. I enjoyed her a lot. Why is she not here? Okay, I think it's because there are some interviews and all that. So maybe at that point, that's where they flop. Because I never watched that. But I know that the top is that interviews they met in person and all that. It's so sad. Seriously, it's so, so sad. But I want to wish Tando all the best moving forward. I think Tando has potential. Tando can speak so well. Nicole Williams was top 35 in 2020. I love this lady so much. I want her to go to Miss Universe. Jeez. She's not in the top 12. It's so shocking, guys. It's so shocking. She was so beautiful. Seriously. And she was married. But that could not stop her because they said Miss Universe allowed married women and children. So why is she not here? It's so sad. I think Anlisa was speaking so well. She had potential. I loved her videos a lot. And... I think Alisa already had the ideas already that if she had the support from Miss SA organization, she could just do more, raise more awareness. But unfortunately, she's not here. I think maybe it's the work. I spoke about her work, so maybe she never really improved on that. Or maybe the other contestants simply did more. And then also her talking. I don't I don't think it's talking that made her to flop seriously. I think it's that work. I think it's that work. Everyone loved Barbara. Her video went so far. People were talking about her. I loved her so much. I regret why she was not on my top 12 list. And right now she's not in the top 12. It's so sad, seriously, because I knew that after this, if Barbara was in the top 12, definitely she'll be in my top 5 or top 10, seriously. But unfortunately, she's not here. It's so sad, guys. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless right now. If she goes to another page and she's going to do so well, but it's so sad that she's not here, seriously. Like, it's so sad. So, guys, I want to wish the top 12 all the best. I love all of them so much. They are so nice. And it just made the best girl win, seriously. Made the best lady win. Before the finals, I'll make another prediction video and my favorite video. But still, I want to wish them all the best. So, guys, please like the video. Subscribe for more videos. Let me know what you guys think about this reaction and the top 12, seriously. I'm so shocked. Barbara and Lisa and more. But subscribe, guys, seriously. Comment below what you think about the top 12 and who shocked you? Who never shocked you? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.